still, you know, looking, but we'll just see how it goes. I'm not, I'm not pressed. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elena of Financial Demix, where I give you the tips and tools to manage your money, increase your savings and your income, and decrease your debt. And today we are talking about my 2022 money goals. So I just did an update of my 2021 money goals. So if you didn't see that video, I don't know what you waiting on, but after this video, go check that out. I have that link in the cards. If you saw that last video, I normally include my business goals, but this year I will not be because I haven't ran them by my mastermind partners yet. And they may make me, you know, up level or change some goals based off discussions we've had. So once, I get that straight. If you want to see a video of my 2022 business goals, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that after the new year. So let's talk about my 2022 money goals. So this year, um, my money goals are pretty plain and simple. You know, they, they're not as in depth as I'm used to them being. Um, and so you know, I had a house on my 2021 goals. I talked about why that didn't happen. Um, and so I decided not to add it to my 2022 goals for the year. Um, as I mentioned in that video, it we are still, you know, looking, but we'll just see how it goes. I'm not, I'm not pressed. <laughs> so check out that video to find out why. So my first goal is to pay off my son's car. If you're new here, you may not know this, but I did purchase my son a car on the last day of 2020. He is in college far away. He needed a reliable car. And previously he was in an accident and um, unfortunately they totaled out the car. So he needed another car to get around and do all the things he needed to do. And so I went ahead and bought him a car. You all already know what was going on with the car market. Um, a lot of people weren't talking about it when it was happening, but I was experiencing it because it took us months to get a car. <laughs> so my plan is to pay that vehicle off by the end of 2022. I had already been making extra payments, but I said that, you know, by 2022, I'll be able to really ramp up the payments that I have been making and so we are going to get that vehicle paid off this year because even though it's a low car payment i am tired of paying for it <laughs> so we're gonna wrap that up this year the next thing that i'm going to be focused on for this year is i do not plan on paying off my student loans this year but i am going to make a serious dent into my student loans this year. Previously, I had been um, making extra payments towards it before everything, you know, occurred. But now um, I'm going to start making a larger dent in it, and hopefully, it will be paid off in the next, mm, we'll say, two years is what I'm aiming for. But we're gonna make a huge dent in 2022 in my student loan. And then my third goal, because I only like to make three goals, I think it's important to keep them succinct uh, because when I have a lot of goals, it's just a lot happening. <laughs> so my third goal is actually to trade more. So I invest already. I typically invest for the long term. That is like the industry that I came out of and that is something that I'm well versed in. Um, I have been trading, but not a lot. And that's something I want to really hone my skills on in 2022. So the plan is to expand my trading abilities um, and really, you know, hone in on those skills. So in the comments below, let me know what money goals are you focused on for 2022? I love to hear what everyone is focused on. And shoot, how can I help you reach your 2022 money goals? If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting on, friend? Go ahead and hit the button. Come join us. And I will see you next week with an all new video.